Hey, gang, 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 gang. What the f is up, man? How are you guys doing? Shout out to my guy, Canary Jewels, for sponsoring this video. My guy sent me through his MIDI collection, Volume 3. This is going to be the last one, if I'm not mistaken. We're going for a little baby. Uh, it should be pretty easy, pretty simple. I'm going to take you guys through the entire process. There's not going to be much editing in this, so you guys get to see all of the mistakes I actually make. So let's get to it, man. If you guys haven't already, like, subscribe, and hit that notification, you're bugging. And let's just get on with this beat, man. So I want to start off with, um, let's go to chord progressions, and I want to go like a D sharp. Melodic Trap, let's go to D-sharp minor, and let's see. I like these chords, so I'm gonna take the chords, I'm gonna move these out the way. And I'm actually gonna make these a little more prominent, the bass notes. This might have to go up an octave. Maybe, mm, I might just leave this here. Take this note out. Just extend these. By the way, I'm pressing Alt and then clicking to extend it without actually changing the snap to grid. I don't know if I want to keep it as a piano and then, or maybe, because I know on, on the new Lil Baby album, there's definitely some more, you can say experimental, uh, more synthesized sounds on there. So we'll see where uh, this takes us, but we need a, a top lead right here. Let's just try to start off with something simple, then fill in those gaps. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. See, something like that, simple, and then we can go ahead and, and make it complicated after the fact. Let's try Alt F. And then maybe swoop that up with the volume. Then we can just velocity, play with that velocity right there. That could work. And then play with those velocities like this. Oh my God, bro. Let's try getting a sound from, let's just clone this and then try getting something 
a little more retro, virtual sort of, what's the word? Nostalgic almost in a sense. Let's get some keys and let's see what we have right here. Let's just copy and let, let's just see what we can get. If we can get something interesting enough, I'll stick with it. If not, I'll just stick with the piano. I low key like, I low key, I'm rocking with this. I feel like it has some nice bounce to it, but the um, the second half of it, I feel like it's like too complicated. Mm -hmm. I could rock with that. I could rock with that. Maybe maybe a pad. A pad could work. Might be able to fit one more sound in here, but I don't think we need. I don't think we need to, but we might be able to. Oof. Let's try to get a lead in here. Let's see what this sounds like. Now nah, we need. That could work. Now, the next thing is all these sounds sound cool together, but they're sort of clashing. Like the pad takes up mad space. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this pad hella wide. I'm gonna use the S1 Imager Stereo. Look at this, right? I'm gonna cut all these lows out, all these lows. And I'm gonna leave this high end because I feel like the high end helps it cut through the mix a little bit. But I see like a lot, a big, pretty much chunk of the frequencies that are coming like in this four, to five range, so that's like 600 to 13. So I'm gonna go ahead in the first initial sound and leave a dip right there. And then I'm gonna do the same for the pad. I'm gonna do the same for the pad just to carve out some space so that they all, so that they all fit, you feel me? You feel me? So then now let's take a listen and see how well they're like matching together. I can rock with that, to be honest. Let's go ahead and add a clap in here. Five, we got, got hi-hat midis on deck, so that should be pretty easy. Let's just play with a couple. A little bit too much. You forgot to cut itself. Now we just gotta tune it. And we just pretty much have to follow the uh, the 808 pattern right here. So I'm just gonna delete this one, move it here. Actually, I want something a little more consistent when it comes to the, the hi-hat pattern. So let's find something else. Let's go ahead and change the 808s. And we pretty much, we really could just copy this right here and then replace that 808. I just did some edge. <laughs> I just did the dumbest shit ever, bro.
And then we got just one note. So whatever this note is, is what this note gotta be. fine right there all we need to do is add a kick in there and then psh, that's pretty much done i feel like it's already a lot in there so this should be this should be enough to be honest right here skip that high note And then we could add one open hat and that's all we need. Big. That's all we need. Render this thing out real quick. <laughs> Whoa, what do you mean, bro? I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, end this video. I'll show you guys the layout as I'm playing the beat. Guys, if you haven't already liked, subscribed, and hit that notification, you're bugging, you're bugging, you're bugging. Podcast episodes coming soon. Make sure you tune into that, show some love. Um, if you guys are interested in this MIDI kit, the link is gonna be down below in the description. And with that being said, I'm out of here. Gang, gang, gang. Wow.